Should I just open up this video by just screaming, Salvador? <laughs> casters. What's up, Workforce? Brian and Chris here. And today we're talking about the casters, Black Mage, Summoner, and Red Mage. This is the Endwalker Media Tour preview. And as with all these videos, we want to make sure we open up with a couple things, just some disclaimers so you guys know. First and foremost, Yoshi P gave a heartfelt thank you to uh, the, all the medical professionals out there on the front lines, behind the scenes in laboratories, helping the world through this pandemic, helping take care of people who are sick and who are dying. And from it came from his heart and he wanted to pass that along to everybody. And we want to echo his, his words as a, a matter of thank you uh, for all that you do. And he, he said that one of the things that he feels, he's not medical, that he can do is try to make the best game and the best experience that you, like people in the medical industry play Final Fantasy 14 that you guys can come and you can have a community, you can see your friends and you can have this. And so we wanted to pass that message from Yoshi P over to you guys. Also with game footage here, uh, it's all pre-development, not having any final adjustment checks being made. Also that any of this can drastically change. So just enjoy the footage, enjoy it for the information you can get out of it. But note that just like any MMOs, like if you're an MMO vet, you've been around here any couple of months, there's going to be expansions and patches to come. So even if you might be worried about a potency or a certain skill, uh, we've seen it happen over the course of expansions. You know, all of this can get adjusted. They're going to take your feedback and numbers into account. So just don't worry about that. For this is here to have fun and be just like excited about Endwalker. And there, what what more is exciting to have the best role, have the best classes, the job. God, it looks good. It not across only looks good the across the board. Hey, what uh, what caster should I play? All of them. All of them. All of them. They're all Every phenomenal. Role, we've had at least a, a minor concern, like 98% positive, 2% I still don't know, or I wish this was a little different. The casters, it's just like, uh, looking at you, Blue Mage, how are you going to answer this? Because that's the only one that wasn't present. Blue Mage is going to be like, I'm going to freeze everybody, and then I'm going <laughs> to murder everybody. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. oh my gosh. This role felt so stacked that it would be it, the only bummer is that in an eight man, you're going to bring in two melees, and two range. There's three casters and it's not like the fizz range were slacking. So like, like yeah. and there's already three of these guys. So it's like, well, you'd have to bring a black mage and you'd have to bring a summer and you'd have to bring a red mage and you'd have to bring a dance. It's like, okay, you're running out of slots here. Yeah. I, at the end of the day, obviously it'll be interesting to see as people really kind of break down the numbers and where like, but I felt like all of these jobs brought everything that I wanted from them as an identity, as a, you know, like, heck, let's, we'll save Summoner for at the end. So guys, you can, you know, hang out. We got lots of content. Twitch, Gaming Kinda, Ginger Prime, you're right in the right spot with Work to Game. Hell, uh, we haven't even, even talked about Facebook. So <laughs> go check out our Facebook links. All right. We're red gonna, mage. You're gonna start with Can red. Start with red mage. Let's start with that's red the mage. One I think changed the, the best least. mage. No, <laughs> red, red mage, mage didn't the change least. the least. No, 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 no. It looks like it changes the least, but in function and in form, it what was incredible. Closer? What is that closer? Okay. I'm just like shooting shenanigans. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and that was beautiful. So, There's these three diamonds I'm building up. Yeah. And those are just diamonds of awesome. And then yes. you just shoot awesome. You do your diamonds of awesome. <laughs> so everybody, like, obviously, seeing the job UI, okay. you get the three diamonds. Well, what this does, what this changes, is so fundamentally awesome. Imagine mm -hmm. doing an AOE rotation, right? Like, red mages, like, okay, yeah, you're going to do ver arrow, and then you're going to do uh, hey, impact, and, engaged. you know, et cetera. So back and forth, obviously, ver arrow too, and... They have upgrades. Felt like you know, it took a little longer to fill up. A little bit, and then, well, you jump in. If you didn't, if you didn't do your like rotation, you wouldn't have access to all of your stuff. So, like they said, Verholy, vers, you know, like uh, Verflare, like those are AOEs now. Like it feels so perfectly balanced, both in single target and AOE. Like honestly, I was like, why, like why would I want to run in a, like a red mage in a dungeon? Well, you want it for the raise. You want it for that extra backup raise, if needed. Cool. But man, like you talk about an AOE rotation, doing any of your abilities locks in a diamond charge. That diamond charge is how you're going to open up for fire or for, uh, for, for, uh, for holy 
and then you go right into your scores and then you go into your final and the buttons themselves upgrade and upgrade so whether you're on the aoe side of things or on the single target side of things it is so here after tier, tier after, after tier. tier and at first it's the right. same job at the first you're like oh so i'm just building up my mana yeah and then and then things start swapping out and you'll notice that when you burn through you don't actually burn through all your mana so you have stacks of your in and out so you actually get way more opportunity to for holy for flare scorch and more like it really like and especially for me spare mana yeah at the end and then i had other abilities if i wanted to burn the remainder yep or if the encounter doesn't really allow for that, you could jump out and and have a partial bars and just go back to filling it up yeah. because you've already got your diamonds of awesome. So exactly. once you've used those, if you have mana left over and the encounter does not make you want to be close, back on out and just start building that bar up. You'll burn it next time. Yeah. I don't know if the, the optimizers out there are like, please no. I don't know how all that shakes out, but I know right now it feels immensely flexible. The optimizers, I think, are going to really appreciate it, especially when a phase change occurs. That's right, right out of here. This is this is the last one, this man. The last one for this today, is the last yeah. one we're filming for today. Party time. Party time. <laughs> especially like, oh no, phase change. I was in the middle of. I wasn't able to finish it. I got two diamonds. I'll wait till they come back. Boom, pick it right up where you left off of. We talked about this in the tank video with combos not having to be like force broken because of boss mechanics. And I think that's going to be a huge difference maker. I think that essentially raises the skill floor a little bit without essentially like punishing like the be all end all players. It just is going to say like, oh, guess what? Yeah, that mechanic happened. So you're not having to be so like, oh God, I have to, okay, I'm going to sit on this because I know a phase change is about to happen. I feel it means that you could actually push harder because if that phase change, you push that phase change in a, in a boss fight, then, okay, cool. We're good. I didn't have to like, sometimes I feel like when you have those different timers and how those abilities work, it ended up punishing certain jobs while rewarding certain jobs. And red mage was one of those ones that I felt punished by in certain instances, but now I don't, I'm like, great, ready to go. Especially on the AOE front, I can still jump in AOE, 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 and I still have that ability because it builds up the diamonds to go for holy for flare scorch and all that being aoe like i am honestly really impressed by red mage really the impressed only by a job that felt like its combo ended more spectacularly than red mage was it, it felt like dragoon and red mage were like trying to one-up each other yeah both of them had such an excellent finisher both of them felt like like okay how do i do that again like like, like this was fun <laughs> but like like do it again do, do, it, do again. it again do it again like, it was like more diamonds yeah more diamonds um and it it as a warrior main it felt like okay bell cleave is not the only show in town like other people can have things that they're like yeah 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 my rotation's really cool <laughs> like i want more diamonds want more diamonds <laughs> that's a great great se se segue into oh. another job that has diamonds on the board that's black mage with the various like the like all the different like uh things the coming on animations the I mean, I love the way Holy looked. I love the way Gravity looked. I love the way the new Felcleave Super Primal whatever thing looked. Like all of the, everybody got something that looked cool. And everybody visually only got a taste of Black Mage. Black Mage felt yeah. so on point visually. Black Mage got upgrades that it has needed for a long time in terms of Fire 2, higher Fire 2, Blizzard 2, higher Blizzard 2. Visually, those spells are gorgeous so we're talking again single target aoe target black mage was it i think the enochian change i really appreciated it like it oh, as with, with took especially me a with poly, it didn't at yeah. first it didn't feel right it felt like something went yeah away. with paradox and with poly and the fact that like you build up and you can bring that that power and then those abilities themselves upgrade off of your fire or your blizzard uh so perfect and it like you're right like the boom like black mage is is a job that's here to bring the boom in N Walker. It levels up that to a whole ridiculous level, and it feels fantastic. It feels utterly fantastic in how it plays. And at the end of the day, like there's a couple of things that I still want. If if you ask me what do you want for Black Mage, I still where's my burst? Burst is the one ancient magic spell that we lost from 1.0 <laughs> that we had in 11, and it's not available here. So we still have Thunder three and Thunder four. Like when you're at level 90. I still hope that one day we'll see burst, which is an ancient magic lightning thunder spell 
where we have freeze and where we have flare which are considered ancient magic from the old 1.0 roots in me right so like outside of that like that's the thing i look forward to every every, every year of black mage i actually i've never been worried about black mage black mage is yoshi's main like i think of anything else like that job is the is the one job that's, yeah. that's always protected and when is it going to be on the box art when is black mage going to grace the cover of an expansion that's what i want to know pictures of yoshi peer everywhere uh <laughs> black mage is represented everywhere yeah it's how i also know that they'll never they'll never delete those pesky lalas um because he's a lala main as well yeah so uh it's pesky pesky lalas so i think that black mage feels like to me it has the most locked away behind being good at it yes the enochian going away made it even harder in my opinion to know exactly what you should be doing right but once you did it right you're like oh yeah this feels good like the moment you start getting it right it just compounds and compounds and compounds so i do think it's the job that when you watch people stream when you watch like sphia doing world first frog on black major you're like what is going on this is incredible mm -hmm. like the spell effects the combos there's their gauge is just like oh i've got a, i've got a clock ticking and a thing lighting up and little like it's it's just got so much going on there's fire there's ice there's both like it's it's chaos don't forget yes. your thunder like it's awesome instant flare go like just just booms and then you go to play it and you're like well why am I not getting any of those things? Uh, it, it is the biggest learning curve, in my opinion, and that was not shortened by this update. Right. Um, I do think it has the most locked away behind doing it right. I don't think that's bad to have technical jobs. Um, no. But I do think it is, well, it is again, the you most pair with technical of the three casters. Yeah. And, then, and I think that's actually something that's really exciting because you can have, we talked about this in our healer video, guys, be sure we got all kinds of videos for you today. Uh, you know, enjoy the links all in the description, et cetera, et cetera. But we Sorry talked about feet. it. Okay, we talked about it in terms of like white mage, scholar, uh, sage, and astrologian. It was like, there's compl more complexity, like in a, in a pairing set, which I thought, and I actually really appreciate uh, to a degree. And so that's where with black mage, I honestly feel if, if it's great on a controller, it feels, it, it feels great on a controller. Right out of the gate, I felt very comfortable playing Black Mage, and I just know that there's so much more that I cannot wait to optimize with how the job plays itself. Because I was like, oh, okay, when, there's going to be things that I know that with more time, that it's just going to be like I'm going to probably end up rearranging and probably going to change up how my my structure works with these core changes that they've made with the Nokia no longer being there, being that it's a trait. I'm I'm excited to see like what this ultimately looks, how this looks. In I place think my huts are going to change. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna see visually as yeah. people come in and ask how a job works. You know, that's something that you know we talk through jobs a lot. Visually, jobs across the board feel like AOE and DP and melee and um, single target need to be like I need to have that mindset. And with Black Mage, it feels like there's these separate components that I'm balancing, mm -hmm. and you need to be using them all correctly because they proc off of each other. And if you break that combination up, the gap between I'm casting spells and I'm playing black mage is enormous. Yeah. Oh yeah. So if you've been black mage main, I think you're in for a real big treat. <laughs> oh yes. I think you're in for a treat. <laughs> yes. Yes. And that essentially it's so weird because then we come to summoner because like we said at the start of this video there, this is, I think the best category. <laughs> like I'm like, <laughs> god I, if they put mounts behind playing the jobs themselves like I, I don't know how you play anything else in this game <laughs> holy crap I mean, summoners I, and summoners don't get one because that just seems unfair that would be like, unfair to everybody else planets. you got shiny things you got shiny things so first things first like one of the things going into it because you're like i like i i used to be in a summoner i've been i i shadowbringer said hey why don't you go play another job you know and i did <laughs> and so like I was like, okay, cool. And now uh, I, I was like, I was hoping then Walker would bring me back to Summoner. And I can tell you hands down, absolutely. Like I would think that if, if there was going to be a main, I don't know what it's going to be right now, but Summoner is definitely in the lead from a caster perspective. I like to try and main one from every role. So that's going to be my goal. But regardless, you know, I'm going to level them all up and then put the guides together for you guys. But Summoner, it doesn't matter what you knew. Like you, like going into it, you, you've got it leveled, but you're like, I I don't really know it because I leveled it through Scholar. What do I know? What do I need to know about Summoner? It's like, honestly, nothing. Like, you want to, it actually probably benefits you more right now to not know anything about it because it feels so good. Yeah. 
The thing that I was, we were always wondering, like, how does this work in the story? How does this work with, like, as you unlock the summons and things like that? And the coolest thing of it is, is that you, you do, you have your, your carbuncle as your pet, as your, your, as your default summon. And then you have Ruby, Topaz, Emerald carbuncles that actually represent the summons later. And then they evolve into the eggy version. So the eggy, you know, assets are still there and those evolve into that and they come in and they do their ability but you don't have the full kit. Eventually you unlock the full summons in their full form and they come in and do their big attack. And then you have your combination abilities. And what I really appreciate about summoner is this, is that some of the abilities made you like completely changed how you play the job. So yes. the order that you would summon them out might depend on what's going on on the field. What do you need? Right? So if it, it's not a timer like this isn't like you got to summon it out quick because you got to get it out because there's a mechanic coming up like you have charges of every summons ability so you call them out you can you expend your charges and then you summon the next thing and meanwhile like bahamut and, and you know and a phoenix are still going on but i appreciate that so if it's got two charges he's got a cast timer behind this i'm be I, like it felt like those hit pretty hard compared to everything else and then you have your your kind of dash in and finisher combo I didn't see anything really that would dash me out, but that's where in my mind, I would want to then summon yeah. Garuda because Garuda has fast insta cast abilities that I can run out. But the other side of it is they have a one off cast time ability that, you know, that you want to use. And so in my mind, ultimately, like if I started with Ifrit to dash in, I'd want to follow it up with Titan because all the Titans combo is all insta cast. So it gives me the ability to kind of back out, still cast and not have any kind of downtime just because I dashed in and then finish it off with Garuda doing the, the cast time and then being able to have that, that mobility was really critical. I love the mobility of the of the summoner, but it still has this. I can sometimes I cast and sometimes I can move. And I think that's going to be kind of the, a real key difference in all the casters where Black Mage for me felt you're standing where you're standing. Healers need to adjust. What do you think? Here was my concern with summoner. OK you just got a two minute opener and it's yeah. got some flex, but you got a two minute opener. And my concern was when I play jobs that have big, long time windows that are synced, such as Paladin and Shadowbringers, the moment you get off, the moment you're busy focusing on a mechanic and you miss a couple globals as a casual player, you are immediately punished and everything falls apart. Um, you know, Monk feels that way right now. There are certain jobs that it just feels like once you get off, it's so hard to feel like you got all the way back on. And the remainder of the encounter is just kind of hanging on for dear life, mm -hmm. trying to get these things all back in sync. What I appreciated about these big long timers, but mostly these charges that were driving you through the phases, is if you took too long, it felt like you could just trigger a Phoenix and just hit restart. Yeah. So you could always, no matter how long the optimal perfection summoner is for a particular encounter, it felt like you could always just say, wipe it clean, Phoenix, let's go again. Yeah. Um, and I'll get it right the next time. And so for a job that has so much change and such amazing animations and such a draw, um, when we talk about the jobs that people are going to be most excited to play who may have no experience with those jobs or even those roles, Reaper is incredibly technical. Sage is incredibly technical. And both of them, if you don't do them right, you won't really get to play them. But with Summoner, if you do it wrong, you're still going to see some summons. And as you get right, it's going to be more summons. Yeah. But it is very forgiving. It felt like getting through normal content, it felt like there are these big reset buttons that are constant on ramps for people that are learning this job, which is incredibly important because even longtime summoner mains are effectively going to be learning this job. Yeah. Everybody is going to be learning this job. And so I really think that compared to black mage where i felt like that gap was really big mm -hmm. this felt like it had logical tears on like okay i'm doing it i have some summons i think i'm using them right to oh wow that one summon felt like i really used that in the right spot in that encounter to okay now we're dialing it in and i'm approaching perfection and i'm extracting an amount of damage that you know another summoner in my party is not um it, it just felt it felt really approachable mm -hmm. for how impactful it felt yeah, hundred percent. I think everybody uh, who's a caster won in N Walker. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god! Other, like everybody, if Don't you're a caster, be jealous. There's nothing to be jealous about. Greener. You all have green grass. It's fine. Like 
what Brian, what's your ideal party? Like, give me a tank and three casters. <laughs> like, let's go. Like, I want to see what, it, what can we do? Let's go into deep dungeon tanking and three casters and let's see what happens. I, I think that would, man's. oh dude, that makes me crave a five man more than anything else. Can't wait to see eight mans though, right? Like from an Alliance raid, one yeah. tank. All right. Two healers. I want all the, all the casters. Give me a Reaper. Four, five, six, seven. I need one more. I don't, uh, Bart, <laughs> I pick you. Uh, yeah. So I'm really excited to see party. Comp. Let's get those, let's get those, those dance partners going out. Oh gosh, dude. It's going to be. Dancer felt clean. I think Ed Walker is going to really. I know you didn't make it to this range. Dancer yeah. felt clean. Now I, I've heard, I've seen people say like they, they're going to miss the dots of summoner. I did not miss the dots of summoner. I thought no, if, no, I, if no, I had to no, manage no, a dot, no, it no. wouldn't what feel dots? right. Never heard of them. But I do hope with the removal of dots on Summoner that maybe that later opens up a, a damage over time mage, whether that's a green mage or something, or like people, you know, we can speculate on the whatever the name would be. I think that would be something interesting to see as when you think of how the three healers and then what would, I mean, sorry, the, the three uh, casters and what would a technical actual curated fourth, not the limited blue, you know, fourth be now that we actually have four tanks, four healers, five melee, this range felt like I, I had some dot management. Okay. So I'm wondering if it moved more to being Fizz. Yeah, and that and that might be it. And that might be the answer there. It's hard so to say. I'm still kind of diving into that one. But. Yeah. Lots, lots to unpack, guys. So if you guys are enjoying our content, we'd love it if you had a like, favorite, subscribe, share, clip, if there's anything that stood out to you. And right now you got to share those clips with us. So we made a Discord-specific channel. So if you guys clip any of the streams over on Twitch or you clip any of the uh, you know content here on YouTube, Drop them in there and we can see if we can't find some awesome ways to take that content, kind of curate that into some fun highlight uh, and, uh, and maybe even shorts and whatnot. So we appreciate you guys being here. Chris, why don't you uh, take the final thought and, uh, and, and read us out. So Brian's not going to be able to talk about melee or fizz range. I will tell you, they feel good as well. Yeah. Uh, they feel good as well. Maybe he'll have a chance to talk about Reaper because we did get to touch that. Um, not long enough, but it's, it, it got a ton of time. Looks great. Yes. Um, Yes. Overall, we are looking forward to sharing a ton of content on YouTube, on Twitch, on Facebook. We are going to be all the places and we are going to be putting out a ton of content. We are recording this in the past so that they can all go live today, October 13th, as I believe the day it is for you. And we have just over a month to go until we are an Endwalker. So enjoy it. Let us know what you're most excited about. We look forward to enjoying this month of hype with you. Uh, but even more so, enjoying November and December with you. Take care.